Hi, everybody. This is Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in part three of our eight-part basic training for Cyberlink Power Director. We are here on the timeline in the midst of a project. And in this session, we're going to take a look at the various rooms. Rooms are here in the upper left-hand corner of the program. And this is where you're going to find your media. This is where you're going to find special effects. And there are a host of very interesting effects and tools available in this upper left-hand corner. In fact, if you're going to be adjusting effects later on, or if you're going to be doing some keyframed animation, almost all of that is done here in the upper left-hand corner of the program. I'm going to widen that a little bit by just grabbing the gripper right here in the center of the screen and dragging that down We'll put more emphasis here on the rooms rather than on the timeline at this particular point in our course. Well, the main room or the room that opens by default, the room you're probably going to spend the most time with is the media room. This is where you have added the media for your project. You can do that simply by going over here to the import media button. And when you click on that, you can import media files one at a time. You can import an entire media folder or you can download media from the CyberLink Cloud, that is your personal online storage space, or from the Director Zone, where other users have contributed clips, music, sound, uh, templates, various templates. You'll find connections to the Director Zone throughout the program. Take advantage of that. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of free templates and clips that are available to you there in the Director Zone. Have a look at that when you have a chance. It's a great bonus from the community that kind of creates and uses CyberLink Power Director. The main room here is media. So this is media that I brought in. You can see there's some music in here. I've got a lot of video clips. There may be a couple of photos in here, but this is the media that I'm going to use to build my project. But there's other media also available in this media room. And you can see these subcategories over here on the left. In the media room, there are color boards, color boards, are just simply different colors of video clips that you can use on your timeline. You need to fill space with black or you need to uh, provide a background for a title. You'll, you can use one of these boards here and in almost every place where you have media of any kind in these rooms, you can of course create your own also, your own custom piece. There's background music. This is a very nice library. Some of these are free. Some of these are available for purchase, depending on which plan you have with CyberLink. But these are very nice. Short music clips in a variety of styles, and they're yours to use once you download them, once you purchase them in some cases, but you will have uh, royally free rights to use them in any project you're working on. Sound Clips is a nice library of sound effects. Some interesting stuff in there like beer pouring, but it's a pretty large library also. Might, might want to explore that. Download is where you're going to have media that you've downloaded from CyberLink or from one of their sources. Uh, I don't have any in there right now, but this is where they're coming from often third parties. Um, and they come as either part of your subscription or you have a subscription to one of those services. And my projects is very interesting. My projects are works in progress or works that you are editing. So I've got one here called Summer Vacation. I've got one here called Caroline Trip. I've got one here called Family Reunion. I don't need to render out my movies and output a movie to use it in my project. I can take a project and embed it within another project. That's a very advanced feature. Uh, you don't find that in a lot of consumer programs, but any project that you're working on, that you created, that you edited, you can bring it down in here and use it as media in another project. I think that's pretty cool. On the left here, we also have a very nice feature that is new in version 21. Uh, these are called video intros. These are animated title sequences. We'll play with those in a different tutorial, but check those out. Those are pretty cool. You have a title room where you have a number of titles and a number of categories. And in most cases, when you choose all content, you'll find the option to get free templates or new effects every month that are coming from CyberLink. Those are also worth exploring and checking out. This is the transitions room where you have a number of really cool video transitions to use in your movie. The effects room with special effects to add to your movie or gradations of color. You can see you have color presets and color LUTs. These are pretty advanced, but they're really great for adding professional color grading 
to your video projects. Anytime you see a little red dot, that means there's new content here in one of the rooms. So this is the video overlay room. These are things you can lay over your video. And some of them are kind of abstract. And down here, if you go far enough, you can find sketch animations. These will be actually drawn on your screen. So if you select this one, take a look at the preview. See that over there? Look at that. These are actually drawn live onto your video. Pretty cool little special effects or actually video overlays. Particles are similar to video overlays. They're special effects you can add to your movie. You can see some there. Some of these are complete with background. Some of these you can are either transparent or you can make them transparent. And here you've got snow, you've got bubbles, you've got rain. You can add that to your movie and create a really cool and very effective special effect in your movie. Down at the bottom here, we've got the audio mixing room. And this is for uh, mixing the various tracks so that your music goes quiet when the narrator's talking. You do a lot of that here in the mixing room. There are a number of ways actually to mix. And then under the more button at the very bottom, there are actually three other rooms. The voice recording room for recording narration, the chapter room for creating chapters for your DVDs and Blu-ray discs, and even a subtitle room for creating optional subtitles for your discs or for use online. A lot of different things and they'll all appear here nice and neatly in the upper left hand corner of the program. Now in part four, when you come back, we're going to get into the meat of the program and actually do some serious editing. Hope you'll join me for part four of our eight part basic training with CyberLink PowerDirector.